I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to use synthetic division to divide polynomials and write division statement. Well do x to the power of 4 minus 6x square plus 9 divided by x minus square root 3. Now when you divide by a term like x minus square root 3 we have to find the value for which the divisor is 0. So we have x minus square root of 3 it is 0 for x equals to square root of 3, right? So in synthetic division, we'll divide by square root of 3. So let's see how to divide it now. We'll make a table like this. Write all the terms for the function which is being divided by x minus 3. So here, divisor becomes square root 3. And the terms here should be coefficients of all this. Now, as you can see, we are missing few coefficients. Let me rewrite this term with uh, zeros as placeholders. So I could write this as, let me uh, write this as x to the power of 4 plus 0x cubed. Do you see that? Minus 6x squared. Then we don't have the x term, so I'll write 0 for that we do have a constant which is 9. Okay? So that is the function we are looking for. So the coefficients here are 1, 0, minus 6, 0 and 9. So I'll write here 1, 0, minus 6, 1, 0, minus 6, 0 and 9. 0 and 9. Perfect. Now that is the reason why my student has requested me to get the solution of this question placeholders are kind of important right now what we do here is bring down the first term write it just there it is one for us so we'll bring down one now we are going to multiply square root three by one right so we'll times this and write the product in that position so when i times with square root three by one we get square root three and then now we are going to add 0 with square root 3. When you add, you get square root 3. Now this is repeated. Square root 3 times square root 3 is 3. When you add, you get minus 3. When you multiply, you get minus 3 square root 3. Right? When you add, you get minus 3 square root 3. And when you multiply, that becomes 3. 3 times 3 is 9 with a negative sign and you get 0 on adding. That means that x minus square root 3 is a factor. Remainder is 0. That means remainder is 0. Perfect. And that means x minus square root 3, I mean square root 3, is a factor. Right? Now we can write the division statement saying that x to the power of 4 minus 6x squared plus 9 is equal to, that becomes the quotient. And the degrees will be 1 lower, right? So here the degree will be x cubed, then it will be x squared, that will be x, and that's a constant. So we could write this as x minus square root 3 times. So we get a cubic equation here, and that is, x cube square root 3 x square with a positive sign minus 3 x and that is the constant minus 3 square root 3 correct so that is the division statement and we know that x minus 3 is a factor since the remainder is 0 so i hope that helps you to understand one how to perform synthetic operation, especially when there are missing terms. So whenever we have missing terms, you need to put placeholders. So the note here is, placeholders for missing terms. Right, that is kind of key to understand when you do <coughs> division you may do long division or synthetic division in both cases that is important i hope that is clear feel free to share your views 
and comments. If you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be good. Thank you and all the best.